Hey everyone, this is Unit 1, Module 2, Session 5, Homework. Um, as I say, I think in most all the videos, make sure you try some of the problems on your own and then use the video to either check your work or kind of assist you if you're kind of getting confused. So if you, why don't you try a couple problems, pause the video, try a couple problems and then press play and see how you did. Or if this isn't making sense, then watch a couple and then there's a few for you to do um, as we go on. All right, here we go. Find all the factors uh, of each of the numbers below. So for 15, they said all the factors were 1, 3, 5, and 15. So I'm just going to use 21 as my example. And I'm going to use those, uh, those factor pairs. And so, like, I know that 1 times 21 is 21. Um, 2 doesn't go into it, but I do know 3 goes into it, and 3 times 7 is 21. Um, they're not in order. I don't think it says they have to be in order. And they give me how many lines there are. So I, so in this case, I know I'm done because I filled in all the spaces, but that won't always be the case. So we have to kind of think about what we'd do if that happened. If they gave us no lines, we just had to find them all. But today they gave us lines. So 28, I'm gonna use the one in 28. Um, two goes into 28, right? 2 times half of 28 is 14. Um, 3 does not go into 28, but 4 does. 4 times 7. All right. Pause it if you think you get this and try. At least try and find a few of them. You know the you know, one and the number, and then maybe if it's even, you know another one or two. Okay? So pause it and then come back to me. I'm going to start, but you've paused it, so you can work for a little bit. 1 and 42. Um, 2... 2, half of 42 is 21. Um, does 3 go into 42? Hmm. Let's see. 42, 3. 15 times 3 is 45. 13 times 3? No, that would be 39. Hmm. I think three does. Three goes in there 14 times. Four, does four go into it? Mm, oh, I know 42. Six goes into it seven times. Hmm, look at this. Um, how could I go from, yeah, I'm gonna leave it for a little bit. I'm gonna let you think about that. See which ones you found and which ones you have questions about. 60. I know for sure 160, and I have 2 times 30. Now, I can actually, well, think about 6. Um, 3 goes in there, 3 times 20. Um, 4 goes in there, because look at this right here. If I double the 2 for 4, then it's 15 if I half the 30. Um... Five go in there? Yeah, it ends with a zero, so five goes in there. How many times does five go in there? Oh, I know how many times five goes in there because someone that's 60 inches is five feet tall and there's 12 inches in a foot, five times 12. And then I don't have a um, six yet. Six times 10. There you go, and I filled in all the spaces, right? All right, let's go to the next one. Find all the first three multiples of a number. So. Um, oh, excuse me, not the first three, at least three. I was going to say, because 30 is not the first multiple of 15. 15 is. So we could do it, be a little bit um, easy on ourselves. So we can say the first multiple is the number, right? And then 21 times 2 is uh, 42. And then if I add 21 or 21 times 3, um, 63. All right. We could have started the second multiple, but I kind of like starting the first one. All right, so I'm going to start 25. I think that's okay. Then if I add a 25 to that, that's 50. Then add a 25, that's 75. Let's change the color. And you try one. You try it for a little bit. I'm, gonna, I'm still going to keep using this first multiple. I think it's kind of important that we recognize that. And then I just start adding the 35. So 35 times 2 is uh, 70. And then 35, so add the 30 is 100 plus 505. 
All right, you try it. Make sure you pause it if you haven't already done so. And you could just really add the numbers. And the first one I'm going to do is 42. Oops, I'm too close to the bottom of my screen. Sorry. 42. And then um, add that. 84. And then um, 80 plus 40 is 120. And 4 plus 2 is 6. 126. Is that correct? All right. I'm sure you guys will let me know, right? And you could go to another one if you want, but you're not required to. All right. Uh, 3A lists all the factors of 36. And they give us no lines. We have to figure it out. So I'm going to do factor pairs, right? So 1 times 36. Um, 2 times half of 36. 2 times 18. 3 goes in there. 12 times. Oh, my fact of 4 times 9. Um, 5 does not go in there. 6 does, 6 times 6. But it's only I'm only going to count one of the 6s. Um, 7 does not. 8 does not. And 9, we've already done. And I think that's how I know I have them all. I got up to 9, and I don't, I can't, no more of them can go in. So I'm curious as to what you're going to write there. How do you know you have them all? Because mine aren't in order. Okay, so let's see what you guys say for that one. While you're checking that out, I'm going to go on to number 4. Uh, Milo is talking to his sister, Lisa, about factors. He said he thinks that any even number always, he used the word always, careful when you use always, has more factors than any odd number. Lisa said she doesn't agree. So I'm going to go with the simplest even number, 2. The factors of 2 are 1 and 2. He said always, right? What if we used um, 15? Um, 1 times 15 and 3 times 5. I think I agree with Lisa. It's not always true. There's some other ones we could try. But I think that kind of proves our point. And when he says always, that kind of gives it away. All right, next page. They want to know what factors these numbers have in common. So they're saying that um, all these numbers go into both 12 and 24. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write for this assignment. I'm going to write all the factors of each of these. And then I'm going to see which ones they have in common. Okay. So here's 8, 1, 8, 2, and 4. I know they're on order, and that might drive us crazy. We'll see. 12, 1, 12, 2, um, 2 times 6, 3, 4. Okay, so in common, common, they have 1, uh, they have 2, they have 4, and that's it. 1, 2, 4. Is that right? I think so. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, what factors do 6 and 4 have in common? I'm, I'm thankful they're keeping these small. 1, 6, 2, and 3. Yeah? And 4 just has 3 of them. 1, 2, and 4. So in common, oh, that was really bad handwriting. I apologize. Um, 1 and 2, and that's it. They have 1 and 2. There it is. All right. So then they give an example in the next one. What are two multiples 5 and 6 have in common? So we're actually going to, let's start, try the next one. And what are two multiples that 4 and 8 have in common? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my color. Let's go to, um, let's go to blue. And I'm going to write the first few multiples of each of them. So 4 is 4, 8, 12, 16, counting by 4s, 20. I'm going to stop right there. And then 8 is, I'm going to use a different color for 8. Um, 8, 16, 24, 32. 
So the first one they have in common is eight. Or what? we don't have to do an order, but I'm gonna say eight. They both have eight and they both have 16. So eight and 16. And I think they'd probably have 24, but I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay. What are two multiples that five and seven have in common? Hmm. Okay. This one could get interesting. I think I know what's gonna happen. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I'm gonna stop right there. Um, seven, we're gonna count by sevens, you ready? Because we often do that. Seven, um, 14, okay, my facts come back to me. 21, 28, um, 35, 42. Two that they have in common. So I'm just gonna look at the sevens. Um, seven doesn't even end with a five or a zero until 35. So in common, they have 35. I'm gonna write it way over here because we're something's gonna happen. 35. Um, but they have nothing else. They have 35, but so I'm gonna go my sevens until I get to another zero or five. 49. Um 56, 63, 70. I'm going to stop right there. And I'm not even going to do my fives because I know five goes into 70. Okay. How do you feel about that? Uh, bring in questions if you haven't. All right. The challenge, Juan, is redesign his bedroom. Which is the shape of a rectangle? Uh, Juan knows uh, the area of his bedroom is 180 square feet. What are all, hmm, all the possible whole number dimensions? So let's try and do this. Ready? I'll have a little bit of time. I don't know what I'm gonna, if I'm gonna finish. One times 180, um, two times 90, three goes into 18. Three times six is 18, but 60. Four? Um, so four is double, double. So half of 180 is 90. Half of that is 45. Yeah. Four times 45. I know five goes into it because, well, it ends with a zero five times, um, five times 30 is 150. Uh, and then five times six, 36. Um, six goes in there because six times three, six times 30, seven doesn't, does nine? Yeah, it's 180, so nine times 20, 10 goes in there for sure. 11, no, 12, 12, 12 times 10 is 120. I still have 60, oh, that's like before. I know that 12 goes in 65 times. So 12 times 15, 13, no, 14, no, 15, we already have 16. I don't think so. Times 10. No, I think I'm going to be good there. And I only have a minute, a little over a minute left. I'm just going to talk about number or letter B, uh, which dimensions are the most likely dimensions for Juan's bedroom and why? Um, I would just think about if their feet wide like this is probably a no, right? Because one foot wide by 180 feet long. Let's think about 180 feet. That would be like if you've ever played, um, hmm, like if you played little league softball or baseball, that the distance, the base is 60 feet. So three of those. And only one feet just think about one foot wide you wouldn't even be able to turn probably you just have to turn sideways probably not going to work so you pick which ones you think are reasonable maybe you measure your own bedroom and see if which one it's kind of like and that might give you an idea okay all right everyone thanks for watching make sure you bring any questions to me all right bye